In the 20k special, I pulled a Blue Eyes Shining Dragon from Retro Pack 2, one of the rarest and hardest to pull cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And today, I got it graded. Alright, let's go to Retro Pack 2. So not, not the LOB, you know, foil off of the bang star that I was hoping for, but that's okay. Ooh, we've got um, Spirit Message in. Oh, wow. Okay, Spirit Message in. Can we pull something? Oh, Book of Moon, guys. This Book of Moon's been printed so many times, but Retro Pack 1 is the most valuable version, so that's pretty cool. Skull Invitation. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. It's a nice common. Yes! No way! Oh, my God! It's not the blue eyes from the LOB, but it's as good as you're gonna get. No way. No way. No way. No way. What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another epic PSA return video. You guys saw the intro. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon has returned. Whew. Okay, it's gonna be good. Before that, we're gonna open a Prophecy Destroyer tin so this video isn't two seconds long. Also, we're gonna do a giveaway. Giveaway for this video. We have a Black Pendant from Magic Ruler. We have a Painful Choice from Magic Ruler. And a Magic Jammer, very slight fade, from Metal Raiders. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what grade do you think the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon will get? I'll give you a hint. It's going to be between 9 or 10, probably. Probably not going to get an 8. By the way, I did look at the grades for this, and I'll explain why. So this thing finished grading on Wednesday. And I was waiting. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to look at the grade. I can wait. Didn't give me a tracking number on Wednesday. Thursday comes along. Didn't give me a tracking number on Thursday. I'm like, okay, are they going to ship this thing? Like, what's the deal? Friday, still no tracking number. And I'm like, you know what? And then, also another PSA return popped for me so i have two psa returns one's coming still now and i was like look they're not shipping my stuff i'm just gonna look at it so i do have a reaction recorded when i looked at the grade so we're gonna have like a side by side probably we'll show you guys the card you guys will see what my reaction was to the grade and then i'll kind of talk about what like we'll look at it and see what we think so i think it'll be kind of cool because you guys can see my reaction uh vintage Yu -Gi Oh was recording me while i was looking at the grade so it's gonna be pretty fun either way uh, that was for the other submission as well. So uh, there's 11 more cards. There's some big cards in there. So it's going to be pretty fun. Let's start with Prophecy Destroyer 10 so we can actually get some opening in. You know, it is an opening channel for the most part. And let's see what we can do. By the way, make sure you guys use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below if you guys want to support my channel. I appreciate all you guys doing that. It really does help out. We have some epic ideas coming up for the 25 and 30K special. You guys will see the 25K special or at least not the actual video, but what we're going to do for it soon. We have Duelist League. Okay, cool little booklet here. Not really sure. I guess it's just some info. Then we have some pretty cool packs in here. We have a 2012 Prophecy Destroyer 10. Prophecy Destroyer is really cool looking. Let me check that guy out. Check that sword out. I got dude with wings, a sword, a helm. I mean, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Packs inside include, let's see what they are. I don't even know. Let me uh, let me set this set this up like this. I mean, that is a cool looking tin. Talk about cool. That is cool. We have some Galactic Overlord, Photon Shockwave, and Order of Chaos. I don't see too much Order of Chaos, so that's pretty cool. Five booster packs we're going to open up. Then we'll get into the, cr the creme de la creme, or whatever they say, <laughs> for the video. What is this? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that because I don't really know what the heck I'm talking about. All right. Can we pull a random ghost here before we get an amazing uh, return? So let's see. Aquamir Cycle. Heretic Dragon of Nebthit. Berserker Scales or Berserk Scales. Light Ray Greffer. Nimble Manta. Falling Current and Bouncer Guard. Okay, so nothing too great in there. Let's go Order of Chaos. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Let's see if we can pull something cool. I have not opened much Order of Chaos at all, so I don't know too much about the set. I don't even know what the Ghost Rare is, but I do know there is one. So it's like a 2012 or 13 set. So, or 2000. Guys, we're opening 2012 10. It's definitely a 2012 product or before. Creeping Darkness. Yeah, that was kind of bad. That was kind of bad that I, that I said that. But that's okay. Creeping Darkness, super rare. Very cool. That is a good pull. I mean, it's a pull. I don't know if it's good, but it is a pull. We're going to say Photon for last because you can pull the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and that card is just awesome. So we're going to say that one for last. Here we get a Dark Lawn. Wind Up Honeybee. Double Defender. Evil Sword Elias. Insector Hopper. Counter Force. Dark Denny Pond and Shock Dust. Yeah, I think this is when Insectors were actually good. 
like around this time. So makes sense that there's some in here. And Galactic Overlord. We've never really gotten too much great stuff from Galactic Overlord. So maybe we can break that streak here. Berserk Scales. Aquamira Cycle again. Morph. Morpho Butter Spy. Absorbing Jar. Influence Dragon. Insector Ladybug and Swallow Fly. All right. So one super so far. Last time we opened it like a 2012 10, I think we got one super. So we're going to do that again or are we going to step it up and get a Ghost Rider? How about that? Or an Ulti. Or an Ultra. Anything. It'd be cool. Here we go. Photon Shockwave. Evo Karma. We got a Wind Up Warrior. Zen Mayarch. May Prior of the Ice Barrier. Photon Booster. Okay, guys. Give us the luck. Hit the like button. Here we go. Wind Up Hunter. Okay, super rare. I'm going to take that. Two supers from a 10 is not too bad. Plus, we get the promos. That's pretty cool. Mirror Mail, Plasma Ball, and Laval Dual Slasher. Okay, so from that 10, we pulled two super rares, which is not terrible. That is not terrible. I will take it. Okay, where's my knife? Now we get into the most difficult thing about PSA openings is getting into the PSA box, which is never easy. It's always harder than you, you think it should be. See if I can do it. Okay, we're, we're making good work so far. We're making good work of this thing. Oh, look at that. That only took like 10 seconds. Good job. I'm getting better at this stuff. All right, so we have the card. Let's get the card out. Oh, wow. There's something cool about this card, actually. Besides the fact that it's a blue eyes shining dragon for Retro Pack 2. Yeah, how much cooler does it get? Let me show you guys. You guys see this? 50 million cert. So we are into the 50 millions. I think every card I've ever graded has been in the 40 millions. So it's pretty cool to see that. Every single time they grade a card, it goes up by one. So they've graded 50 million cards. Pretty insane. So even though we do give them crap, they've, I mean, they've been around for a while. So they, they're not always perfect. They definitely are not always perfect. But um, they do provide a service that a lot of us are interested in. So yeah, we got a little bit of stuff on the back, which is pretty normal. Okay, so corners, back corners looking good. Got nice back corners. The centering, as you see, is a little bit thicker down here than up here. That's kind of how it was on the front as well. Let's kind of turn this thing around. Okay, I hope I didn't spoil it. If I did, I'll, I'll edit it out so you guys don't see it. Retro pack 2. Dude, look at this thing. That is one heck of a card. And you guys saw, if you guys saw the raw, when I posted the I posted the side-by-side -side in the 20K video, make sure you guys go watch the video, by the way, if you haven't somehow. It was amazing. I did a side-by-side -side when I got a close-up shot of it and there's incredible foil bleed i don't know if we can see it on here it's kind of harder to see it that is a kind of sad thing about psa slabs sometimes you can't see them as good the centering on this guy was not perfect there was see if i can find it there's a little bit you guys see that line right there yeah i didn't notice that until later there what that was on there so a little bit of bad centering plus that let's All see right. the shining we're gonna get a nine but uh, we'll look at it anyway this one's gonna be a nine i'll be happy if we get a ten though dun, dun, dun. Right. we gotta update this here it comes. PSA 7. No. Mid 9. No. <laughs> you guys can probably guess what it's going to get. A mid 9. So, yes, I really wanted a 10, but I, I was being realistic and I kind of expected a 9. I'm still happy with pulling this card. I mean, this is incredible. I'm not looking to sell this card at all. Like, even if it was a 10, I wasn't looking to sell it. I had people tell me if it got a 10, they would, they would buy it. I was like, I just, I don't know. Because this card, I mean, this card, we pulled it out of a Retro Pack 2 pack. I think, according to YouTube comments and my own YouTube obsession watching all the Yu-Gi-Oh! openings ever, I think we were only the second person to ever do it on YouTube. Because I believe Ben Tim, he kind of had a, he has a big, like, Clash Royale channel. At least he did. I don't know. I haven't seen him in forever. But he kind of started a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, and he, like, did a bunch of crazy openings in, like, 2018, maybe late 2017. And he was going crazy and opening a bunch of stuff. He pulled one of these. I think he was the only one besides us. So, if I'm wrong about that, make sure you guys let me know in the comments. And I want to watch the other videos. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, Mint 9 on this card. I'm not too mad about it. You guys saw my reaction. I probably posted it in here. Here, I'll show the react. Oh, I probably should have showed it already. I'll, I'll show it already. So it'll it'll be vertical though. He, re he recorded it like a noob. Uh, I, I didn't tell him that, but now he knows when he watches the video. So it's going to be vertical. You guys can make fun of me for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, even a nine, this card is awesome. Definitely incredible. I'm so happy to get it. I'm going to wipe off that stuff. I mean, super clean though. Super clean card. Even with this little line, I feel like maybe on a good day. I mean, that centering is not good. It's not good. 
but maybe on a good day you could sneak by with it. It's tilted a little bit. So at the top it looks okay, and then you come down and it gets a little bit thicker. Wow. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome, awesome card. I'm pretty excited about it. We're definitely going to put it in the background, I think. What do you guys think? Think we should put it in the background? That's it for this video, really. I mean, we got the Shining Dragon. We opened a tin. We got some good stuff. We got some really awesome openings coming up, guys. I'm working on some really awesome stuff. There will be another PSA return as well. I told you there's 11 more cards. Some other huge cards you guys are going to enjoy seeing. So make sure you guys like the video. Share it out. Share my channel if you guys are enjoying it. I appreciate all you guys that do that. Use my TCG and eBay affiliate links that are on Patreon, all that stuff. I've been putting it up at the end for all the Patreons. So I appreciate all you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's the original art. Yes! Yes! I think Galaxy actually. First pack! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!